he appears on your TV screens talking tough to criminals, issuing orders to his officers or outlining measures in the fight against insecurity. We're talking about Inspector General of Police David Kimayo. But that is not all there is to the country's police boss. And as Rita Tanina reports, Kimayo, who is now the new chairman of the Africa Inland Church Milimani, is also a preacher. It has been two decades since the foundation stone for the Africa Inland Church Milimani was laid. Songs and thanksgiving prayers mark the 20th anniversary. But for one man, the Inspector General of Police, David Kimayo, the celebrations may have been more significant, and not for the fact that he was seeking divine intervention to deal with the country's security challenges. Praise God. Praise God again. God is good and all the time. And that is his. And he deserves a farm of the high five. Kimayo was wearing a different hat. From putting criminals on notice to giving orders to his officers. Don't be scared by some quarters that you have given orders to shoot to kill. Here, he was quoting Bible verses and preaching as he took to the pulpit. I just want to share one word in the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 1. The Inspector General of Police, who has been a church elder at the AIC Milimani for the past five years, was taking on another role. He is the new chairman of the church, a responsibility he says he grudgingly accepted. It is for us to humble ourselves, not to be the big bosses, but to be the servant leader. And I accept this as a servant leader. Kimayo has been in the spotlight lately as the country grapples with the war against terror. With a shoot to kill order, Kimayo was calling for a different approach to tackling insecurity. Prayer. We pray for peace to prevail. We pray for meaningful development to take place because we know all of us where there is peace, there is development. Kimayo says the government is set to deport more illegal aliens in the next few days. Several people are set to be arraigned in court on Monday following the ongoing security operation. The police will not disclose exactly how many of those arrested in the security operation have been returned to refugee camps or how many have been released after the screening of close to 4,000 people at Kasarani, which has been gazetted as a temporary police station. Rita Tinina, KTN.